Hello, I hope you're enjoying DockerCon this year. I know I am. My name is Amy Bass and I'm a product manager here at Docker. I've been with Docker for the past five months and I'm excited to tell you about a new feature we developed for Docker Desktop called Docker Extensions. All right, so let's start with what are Docker Extensions? Docker Extensions are a way for you to take Docker Desktop and extend its core functionality and basically make it pluggable like some of your other favorite tools. We've already got you started by integrating with a range of partners to add in capabilities like scanning, debugging, testing, and more. It's also a way for you to take your team's workflows and power them up by creating, by integrating them into Docker Desktop and creating some automation around them. If you have a problem you are trying to solve, you can also use our extension marketplace to discover new tools or even find your favorites. Lastly, it's a way for you, the community, and our partners to contribute to Docker Desktop. We've opened up our extensions SDK and can't wait to see what you've created. All right, now the extensions SDK was built with developers ease of use in mind. So, if you are familiar with building images, it shouldn't require a lot of effort. Within the SDK, we've made it possible for you to build extensions using React and TypeScript. We've also enabled hot reloading to immediately see your changes reflected in Docker Desktop. With the Docker Material UI theme that we've provided, you can easily replicate Docker's look and feel. We've also included an extensions CLI to help you with management and validation. And in our documentation, we've included both samples and tutorials to help you get started. Lastly, because Docker extensions are available on all platforms, Mac, Windows, Linux, we've made it possible for you to build extensions for all of them. All right, so let's see how to start using extensions that are available within Docker Desktop. We wanted to make them easily discoverable, so we've created a marketplace where you can install extensions with a single click. But rather than talking about it, why don't I give you a demo? All right, let me just get into Docker Desktop here. All right, here we are. You'll see on the left navigation that there is a new section for extensions. We can start exploring some extensions we've included from our partners by clicking on Add Extensions. Here, we'll see a list of available extensions. If you want to learn more about a specific extension, you can click on it to see the extensions detail page. Now, we don't have a lot of information on this particular extension yet, but I promise more is coming soon. If you're ready to install one, you just click Install. You don't have to go to the CLI or anywhere else to install this extension. Now I'm going to select a few of my favorites to show you. All right, so we've got disk usage already, do extended logs. Let's do a security scanning one. Let's do um, trivia by Aquasec. All right, now if you're ready to get started, you can either click open or just click on the extension on the left-hand side. So we're going to start with disk usage. This is a great extension for viewing how your disk space is used by Docker. And it's something you can reclaim space within just a few clicks. All right, so let's dive into what you see here. First, this white area is the images that I have that might need to be cleaned up. The blue area is the local volumes. Now, if I want to click on it, I can get more information. So I've got five volumes and it's taking up a few hundred megabytes. But let's see, I think that's what I wanna clean up. So if I want to, I just click delete local volumes and just confirm that this is exactly what I want to do. And it's as easy as that to clean up your disk space and see what's in use. Next, I want to show you extended logs. So we'll give this a second to load. This is a nice way to be able to access and search your logs across all of your containers. So here I'm filtered on all, and you can see the logs from all of my different containers. Next, if I wanted to look at a specific container, I can just click on it and it'll shift my logs visually here. So this is nice because I don't have to go in the CLI and look at these. I can just go between each of the logs. The other cool thing I can do is search. So maybe I wanna see all the start events. 
I just type start and I can see them all from this particular container, but I also can carry that filter over to everything. So now I can see the ones from my Docker tutorial container as well as my gifted gates container. All right, and I can just click on the filter itself to remove it in case you're curious. All right, the last extension I wanna show you is Trivi. Now Trivi is a great extension because it lets you run unlimited vulnerability scans on your images. All right, so let's think, click in here and we can see what containers I have available or images available to scan. Let's do type in Ubuntu. And here I have a few, so let's take the latest one. All right, so one thing before I start the scan that I wanna call out is that I can opt to only show vulnerabilities that have fixes, or I can see all vulnerabilities. For the sake of the demo, I'm gonna see all vulnerabilities. All right, so once I'm ready, I just click scan images. This may take a few seconds. All right, so we've got our vulnerabilities. So here I have three medium and 12 low that I can look through, so 15 in total. Now, if I wanna find out more information on one of these, I just click on it. Here I can see um, more information, if it's fixed in a particular version, as well as there's a link for additional information that's not displayed in the UI. All right, before I conclude this demo, there is one other thing that I'd like to show you. So I'm gonna go back to the marketplace. And here, there are two sets of links that I think are really important for you to know about. First is the link for feedback and requests. This is a great way to tell us what you think about extensions, as well as let us know what extensions you think are missing. We'd love to work with our partners to get the extensions you desire the most. The second link is if you're interested in building your own SDK, I mean, building your own extension using our SDK, of course, you can click learn how, and that's gonna take you right to our SDK documentation as well as the SDK repo in GitHub. All right. Now that concludes my demo. Now there are plenty more extensions worth checking out. So you might be wondering how to get extensions. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is upgrade to the latest version of Docker Desktop for Mac, Windows, or Linux. All include Docker extensions. So let's talk about what's next for Docker extensions. First, we'll be adding more extensions. We've already been working with some new partners and are excited for what the community will create. So check back often to see if new extensions have been added. Second, we plan to improve the marketplace experience for both developers and publishers. In the near future, we'll be adding the ability to search for extensions, extension categories, and a rating system. Lastly, we do want to hear your ideas for what else we should do. We'll be listening to your ideas from our community Slack channel, the in-app feedback button that I showed you earlier, and feedback that you leave on our SDK repo in GitHub. Okay, so if you liked what you saw, there are a few other sessions you should check out here at DockerCon this year. The first one that I wanna point out is if you're interested in learning more about how to build extensions, check out Docker's talk on getting started building extensions. This session is being led by two of the developers who helped create extensions and the extensions SDK. A second session that might be interesting to you is integrating telepresence with Docker desktop. Here, Ambassador, will be taking, talking about their experience building an extension that we do have featured in the marketplace. So this means like they've already built an extension and you're gonna hear about their lessons learned and everything else. And then lastly, check out our partners lightning sessions. It'll be a great opportunity to learn more about some of the extensions and demoed, as well as others that I didn't have a chance to show you. All right, let's wrap up a little bit here. Here are links to a few resources that I mentioned that I wanna go over. First, if you need to get the most recent version of Docker Desktop, 
Here is the link to the Docker desktop current releases page. Second, we have the Docker extension socks. This is going to go over some of the things I highlighted in my demo, but some features I didn't highlight as well. There's also the Docker extensions SDK docs. This is actually where you'll be able to learn how to build your own extension. We have the extension Slack channel. This is a great place for you to submit questions, feedback, things that you don't find in our documentation. And lastly, we have the extensions SDK feedback. This is where we'd love to hear about the from those who are building extensions and any issues you have or questions that you might need help with. All right, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoy the rest of DockerCon. Thank you.